Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you the up-to-date La Palma information you need to know. Welcome to the show. La Palma volcano eruption today, evacuation, possible tsunami, and live updates. This is just some of the misinformation you're going to get from the mainstream, where they put this spectacular picture of a hotel about to get decimated from the current cinder cone. There's no evidence of a tsunami developing, landslides, fracture, or slip down whatsoever. So let's just get that right out. Now, we're talking about updates in the last 24 hours, and let's start with tomorrow, yesterday afternoon. Uh, La Palma Volcano update. New vents opened up. The Conde Village has been evacuated. The activity continued to increase overall during the course of the morning. Two more fissures opened, one close to the original one, another one further north of the existing vents, southeast of Takande Village, which was evacuated soon after. The opening of the event followed rapid ground inflation in this area of about, let's just turn that off. 15 centimeters according to unconfirmed information and there's a picture of the main vent that's currently erupting uh, and we opened up with it on the live stream right there and you can hear it erupting live and we'll get to that so bear with us now the La Palma volcano update there is a spectacular 3d image of the lava flow map we'll supply you with the links and the map it's high resolution so you can come way in here and see exactly what's going on in the regions the lava is moving and the potential devastation coming in the short term the eruption site is uh, up on the flank of Cumbre Vieja not in the main uh, danger zone for calving now what I mean by that is that there is a crack that runs up on this ridge but this is just at the far southern tip of that uh, area and unless we see volcanic activity stretching along the entire area or this increasing way more rapidly. Now, what I would suggest, if there's any landslide activity, it's going to be in this region and it's not going to go anywhere because it's all flat here. The dangerous regions would be over in this region by Volcan El Charo, Charco or Volcan de Martin or even Volcan El Doranzero. Any of these areas, very steep all the way to the sea. The area that this is erupting, there is zero potential. Let me repeat that. There is zero potential for landslides resulting in tsunami. And that means none. But you do get a wonderful picture of what's actually happening here on the map. Now, La Palma volcanic ash update. The ash emissions are increasing, and there are people living nearby this. So they are constantly having to clean up from this ash. The eruption is becoming ashier. Today, the plume has been reaching 4,000 meters. That's 12,000 feet, folks, and is visible from much of the island. Deformation shows inflation overall, and we'll show you that data right here. Starting in the midday September 21st, a huge uptick. Here is 240 millimeters straight up. And so there is more magma moving into that region. If we come to the seismic map here, which has depth over time. Here we are sitting right here. So nothing has happened for much of the last 12 hours since yesterday when they said there was a little uptick. And there was, except for two quakes today, which is showing a stabilizing of the eruption um, and it becoming more normal and regular than ever. Now, as far as the sulfur dioxide is concerned, and I'm sure a lot of people are concerned, more volcanic sulfur dioxide is mixing over Europe, and you can see those plumes here, the 25th headed there. So here's the 22nd, here's today, and then by tomorrow, that's going to be pushing up into eastern Spain and up into Italy. And we'll leave you links to this GFS model from Windy of the sulfur dioxide and where it's going, because everyone wants to be knowing. Now, La Palma Canary Islands eruption, September 2021, we have the most recent updated Lava map as of about 10 hours ago. So take a look at that and superimpose it on the awesome picture here. So it's going a little further towards El Pampillo and La Costa, where it will eventually reach if nothing changes. And it doesn't appear, well, as if much is changing. Let's blow this up and let's take a look at La Cumbre Vieja in La Palma in the spectacular vent, which will be named after the event. And this is shooting strombolian activity 
These are lava fountains to 10,000 feet. That's the current update just a few hours ago that this cinder cone is still shooting lava 3,000 meters into the sky or 10,000 feet. That's about two miles, folks. And it's just spectacular. And there's another boom. It's almost like fireworks in La Palma. That one looks about 400, 500 feet, 600 feet. Uh, but they can get bigger. Here's a 700 footer. Oh, eight. Yeah, well, you could see that this baby is going to 10,000, clearly. I don't need to convince you. Or do I? And that's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. As we just look at the most recent updates, the inflation and the vision. Take a look at what it looks like from a distance. And just imagine the power of Mother Nature. Well, Mother Earth, Gaia. And that's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. In a dystopian world where the mainstream media just writes salacious headlines that mean nothing and tell you zero information. Well, we just told you all the information you need to know. Share this with like-minded people. Become a Patreon. Support the work we do. We love you. That's a boom to knowledge. Click on one of the other boxes to gain more of it. And we'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.